Ever pondered over how a tiny little convex lens can magnify images or how it bends light in a specific way? Well, today, we are going to unravel the mysteries of a convex lens and its ray diagram. Imagine a convex lens, a lens that is thicker in the middle than at the edges. When light rays approach this lens, they refract or bend, resulting in the formation of an image on the other side. But how does this magic happen? That's exactly what we're going to explain today, using the ray diagram of a convex lens. Let's start with the basics. A ray diagram is essentially a graphical method used to determine the path of light. It provides a visual representation of how light travels and how images form. But remember, drawing a ray diagram isn't as simple as drawing stick figures. It involves precision and attention to detail. To begin with, we need to understand the principal axis, a straight line that passes through the center of the lens. This line serves as a reference for drawing rays and locating the image. Now we have three principal rays to consider. The first ray travels parallel to the principal axis and after refraction, it passes through the lens's focal point on the other side. The second ray passes through the center of the lens and continues in its original direction without any deviation. The third ray passes through the lens's focal point before hitting the lens and after refraction, it travels parallel to the principal axis. Where these rays intersect on the other side of the lens is where the image forms. It may sound complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's as easy as pie. Now, the nature of the image, whether it's real or virtual, upright or inverted, depends on the position of the object with respect to the lens. If the object is at infinity, the image forms at the focus and is highly diminished, real and inverted. If the object is beyond the center of curvature, the image forms between the focus and the center of curvature, and it's diminished, real and inverted. If the object is at the center of curvature, the image also forms at the center of curvature and is of the same size, real and inverted. If the object is between the center of curvature and the focus, the image forms beyond the center of curvature and is magnified, real and inverted. And if the object is at the focus, the image forms at infinity and is highly magnified, real and inverted. Understanding the ray diagram of a convex lens not only helps you grasp the science behind lenses, but also gives you a deeper insight into the fascinating world of light and optics. So, to sum up, we discussed what a ray diagram is, how to draw one for a convex lens, and how the position of the object affects the nature of the image. Remember, practice is key. The more you draw, the better you'll understand. Keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered.